All right, I wanted to show how to do souve in the Instapot. Beware of bats. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right, so uh, let's go ahead and talk about the Instapot. The Instapot, so this is a newer Instapot, and this has some functions on it that are really cool, like making, like baking, yogurt, souve, right? Slow cook, obviously pressure cooking, which is pretty typical. Uh, rice and steam and again sa uh, saute over there um, along with favorites so really cool so here's what I do I take chicken breasts and go ahead and put all the seasonings in in this case we have a little bit of um, red pepper um, some leahy moy sauce salt garlic um, some general seasonings and just put it in a bag and we went ahead and froze this um, I got this out maybe maybe an hour before. You can actually put this in the Instapot and set a timer and have the souve start. And it'll actually remain really cold in there until you're ready to actually start it. So you could put this in in the morning frozen, covered with water, and set the delay start. And by the time you get home, you have ready to go chicken. Uh, we've, we've tried several different flavors. This is actually a really good one. And then just, of course, the regular, you know, typical garlic, salt, and pepper, and other stuff like that. But um, I will say that this is the way to cook chicken breast. Ridiculous. Uh, I'm, I am not kidding. Just absolutely incredible. So there's uh, lots of recipes online. Um, really easy to do. Again, you can freeze them ahead of time, get them prepped. So really easy dinners. You can also put in your rice in a, in a suction bag and um, in a vacuum bag and put it in there too. Um, lots of stuff that you can do. Um, okay, so I... I'm going to go ahead and do souve. And we're going to go ahead and do this as custom. And 146 degrees is the suggested temperature for chicken. And you'll find that online. It sounds low, but it really isn't. It's, um, that is plenty, plenty done enough. And it's in here long enough for two hours that you have fully cooked chicken all the way through. The difference is it's just incredibly juicy, incredibly tasty. So once I get this out of here, I'm going to take it and put it in a frying pan and I'm going to give it a quick brown on both sides. And, uh, and again, I mean, it, you have something that just tastes the absolute best. So I'm going to go ahead and press start here and there we go. And it is on and slowly, but surely this will heat up. It does take a long time to go through this preheat because it heats very slowly to get the temperatures almost exact. I have checked the temperatures. And I mean, it is dead on 146 degrees. It's pretty incredible. So this is not a pressure cook. So we take the, we're gonna take the top and we're gonna put the top on and we're gonna close that up and we'll go ahead and open up the vent there. That way no residual pressure builds up. There's just no reason for it. And uh, that's it. And in two hours at five something, we're gonna have a wonderful dinner didn't do what I said I was going to do. I said I was going to take a video and then put this up on YouTube. So, okay. So I took the chicken out of the souve. I put it in a pan. A little bit of olive oil. Chicken browned. And there. How's it taste? Is it good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little spicy. It's spicy.